This is dedicated to the amazing and beautiful moms and dad and doctor who took the time to sit and share with me and the Just Moment community their stories of strength, love, passion and wisdom. I can honestly say that I feel so blessed by every single encounter. Each one of my guests left little nuggets of goodness that will stay with me forever. And so I thought it was so important to highlight some of these special moments. Because at, at the end of the day, being honest about your motherhood journey is the greatest gift you can give another mom. So I really hope you enjoy this. You know, how did he manage your time to ensure that he was not, he didn't feel neglected? You pretty yeah. much answered that yeah. question, you know? Yeah, I try, I try my best to keep him, to remind him that he's also important. He's also significant to me. And, you know, where I can take breaks, I take breaks and I jump between the two. And in all honesty, we hardly buy any toys for them because they can entertain themselves. They can entertain themselves. Which and is awesome. Other, and each other. Yeah. 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 So, in all honesty, when, when, when people ask me, what do you do with three boys? And in all honesty, I think it's easier because they're there they have to each company. Other's company, yes. Yeah. 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 And yeah. everything's like a routine. My house is like a school. And I mean, also during uh, my pregnancy, I suffered from postpartum depression. So, you know, mm -hmm. all those hormones swirling around mm -hmm. and you, you, I was at, there was a point where I wasn't too stable. <laughs> I wasn't too and, stable. And it I, was hard. Yeah. It yeah. was hard because you feel very alone. You don't know what you're doing. You're in charge of these two lives. And also you have advice coming at you left, right and center. You need to do this. This, this person and sometimes it's unsolicited yeah. advice, oh, right? Sometimes it is. Oh, it, it, it. <laughs> um, so yeah. it, you know, it's hard to it was hard. So money and like for me, we were cloth diapering during the pandemic and we were in Canada. And when everybody was trying to find diapers and stuff, right. I literally it never crossed my mind that we never had diapers. Right. Because I was I mean, so those kind of things, I'm just like, well, if a world war happens, yeah, then, you're, then, you're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, like, Brittany, my first daughter got married, you know, I, I, I had to know, <laughs> recalibrate and understand that she's not my daughter anymore <laughs> in the sense that she's somebody else's wife. Um, starting our own family. Start Well, even before the family yeah, thing. Yes. But just the switch in roles, meaning she's now a wife and so there are certain things I'm not going to be privy to, um, I don't need to get involved in, um, I'm not paying the bills anymore kind of thing. So I find that I, well, I found that I had to kind of readjust. Yes. The greatest thing I think about breast milk, well one of the greatest things, mm -hmm. is um, that it is a supply-demand relationship. So you don't need to spend money to boost your supply unless you have a medical like situation yes. that prevents yeah. you from, from creating milk. But typically it's just get milk out frequently and fully mm -hmm. and your body will continue to make mm -hmm. more. The journey, as any person can actually even imagine, it has been one with a lot of ups and downs and smiles and cries. It has, I don't want, I don't like to use the word challenging mm -hmm. because, you know, it's a different experience. So it being different, it's more than, it, it will come with challenging. I just, I just call it as being a different experience. Mm -hmm. I've overcome a lot of, you know, um, difficulties, yes. a lot of challenges, yes. a lot of bumps in the road. As you said, the father role is so important. I always say that God gave us two parents for a reason. This yeah. parenthood thing is not easy. It's not for, it's not for know, one. It's not for one. It is not. You know, they, we need the mommy. We need our daddies just as much as we need our mommies. And you see, you, know? you see the breakdown in the society. You know. Yeah. You see the breakdown in the society. Yeah. Yeah. And I can only just try and you know kind of break the cycle. Yes. Yes. And, and be there for my yeah. son. Well, you have enough good fathers out there, yes. so big up on yourself. <laughs> of course, for All sure. Father, then. Through the pregnancy, it was horrible, but my family, my goodness. Yeah. If I didn't have them, I don't feel like I could have brought myself to the point of, of you know, I just, the mental space that I had was just bad. All right, I didn't love my pregnancy. Sometimes I felt like, do I really love my baby? Like, I would feel so bad for thinking that yeah, way. Yeah. But I'm sure when he came, I mean. Oh. No, after I stopped vomiting, I was just like, oh, I love him of so course. much. Okay. So hyperemesis gravidarum is basically a, an extreme form of vomiting in pregnancy. 
So vomiting in pregnancy is pretty common. A lot of women have either nausea or vomiting in mm -hmm. pregnancy. Mm -hmm. But hyperemesis is when you have such excessive vomiting that you start to have um, dehydration mm -hmm. to the point where a lot of times you have to be admitted to hospital. So it's really just uh, an extreme form of... So it started, it, it's tricky because um, we, try to start, we try to start it every single day with every single child. No, trust me, that did not work out at all. It was just way too much. Mm. So we moved to like once a week and sometimes once every other week. Okay. So you have to figure out what works for your family. And there was feelings that, yeah. of guilt, you know? Yeah. Honestly, there were there are feelings of guilt yes. when you don't get it in and the kids be like, but you haven't done so and so. But right. you have to know where your limits are, you yes. know, because if some days when I push to do it and I'm grumpy, you know? And that doesn't, and it that's no fun for no one. Defeating the purpose. Exactly. Yeah. So. exactly.